morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. First of all, let's give honor to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm, this video is not going to be long at all because I, I don't have too much to. I have a whole lot to say, but I don't. I don't have too much of a download today to share and spread with everyone. But I, I always got something great to say about our Father, the Son, Jesus, the Christ, and the Holy Spirit. I always got something to say about them. Always. First of all, we know they are love. They are love. They are love. You know that you cannot mix light with darkness. You just cannot mix. You know, certain things in the world that just cannot be mixed together. Or it will be a disaster. And the Father is not going to lose. I just want everyone to know that. I, that's just a little bit of word I have for today. No matter how much Satan have your feet cemented to the ground. And what I mean by that. I'm going to say Hebrews 12, 14. I'm going to give you that verse. Hebrews 12, 14 and 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 4. And those are my chapters for this morning. No matter how much Satan have your feet cemented to the ground, meaning making it so hard for you to get out of sin, the Father won't lose. You will lose in the end for allowing the wicked one to overtake you. And I mean overtake your body, him and his friends, to control you, to go to a place where no man want to go. And I was in Matthews last night, and the chapters, I'm in Matthews 23, 24, 25. And those chapters is really, it's seriously heavy in spirit, you know. Because now let's get ready to get to the end to talk about how they beat Jesus and scourged and spit on him and, you know, so much things that they did to him. And he went through all that because of the love he had for us. So that kind of tears my spirit down when I read that verse, you know, and it takes me some days. And my energy level is just like, it's all over the place because, you know, my heart is so pure. And, you know, the things that people put, things that people put other people do because they are attached or, or have a demon that's dwelling in them that making them do the things that they do to others and putting others through so much pain and trauma and hurt you know, chaos, tormenting them. Even though, yay, things are in the world, but the Father said, do not be in love with nothing of this world. And that's where Satan got the world wrapped up in. My favorite verse, 2 Corinthians 4, 3, 4 through 7. That's what Satan got the world wrapped up, got the world blinded. And as I was reading in the Bible last night in Matthews, I read every night. I, I read my Bible every, every night. And the chief priests and the scribes and the Pharisees, they were, God took his hands off of them and placed it on the Gentiles because each soul mattered to God. So Jesus was telling them, your the father's hand is no longer on you. So when the father take his hand off of you, you know, Satan can do what he wants to you. Satan can just, he have the freedom now to tear you apart. And that's not what the world really wants. That's why there's so much murder, so much rape, so much molesting. Look at all these people that got these high titles. That should tell you something. The Father is bringing all darkness to light, and y'all still not getting it. Y'all still praising titles. Y'all still uh, making 
men and women and children and houses and cars and bank accounts so idle. You still not discerning the true spirit that the Father is showing you. Like the Father say, or like the Lord Jesus the Christ say to the disciples, everybody is not going to believe. No, they're not. And it's not many that believe. You wake up and you see, and as you're going in the world, and by me having the Holy Spirit, and I'm awakening, I can see so much, and it's so heartbroken, it's so wicked, people just playing with God, being such hypocrites. The Bible speaks nothing but truth, and the Bible is life. You cannot be a Christian on Sunday and through the week you're of Satan. Or after you get out of church, you're going to shout at praise, speaking in your false tongues, and just want to do what you want to do with the Father. The Father is not going to tolerate it when that sky cracked. He gave up his only begotten son. His only begotten son gave up his life. You can come out of your sin. You can change. If you can if you can do all you can and give it all you got to keep a job, to keep a man, to keep a woman, to keep a man and a man, a woman and a woman, if you can do all you can to be loyal to sin, you can do all you can to get out and be loyal to the Father and, and appreciate the things that he give you because all this stuff that y'all are praising, and all this stuff that you are idling and all this stuff that you put your all into is vanity it got to perish look at noah noah did the same thing come on in come on who want to come with me come on the earth is going to flood the people got so comfortable they didn't believe noah satan had them people believing that noah was crazy noah wasn't noah didn't know what he was talking about Look at Lot with Solomon, Solomon and Gomorrah. Gomorrah. Look at Solomon and Gomorrah. When the father told um, Abraham, I'm going to burn the whole city. I'm going to destroy the whole city. Abraham was negotiating. No, it's, it, it's some more people than just one or two people. They had got so comfortable in that city. They, they, they was doing so much wickedness. That they thought that they could just get away with it long as they can if this was gonna last forever this is how the world is rolling today everybody just doing what they want to do you say jesus satan that's dwelling in majority of people and his friends they um condemning you they laughing at you they mocking you they making you feel stupid they criticizing you they saying all the above about you living the right way for jesus or you following Jesus and picking up your cross. You worshiping the Father. They did Peter and all the other disciples like that. They throw them in prison. They beat them. They whip them. They uh, try to kill them. Because they spoke the name Jesus. Don't speak that name in this city. We ain't going for it. Because Jesus defeated that demon. Jesus defeated Satan. And Satan is turning the world the same identical way as it was in Babylon, it was in Rome, it was in Judea, it was in Jerusalem, all the cities that was before us, BCE, before us, 671 BCE, uh, 700 before us, before Christ. And y'all doing the same exact thing. The Bible speaks of it. The Bible is true. You'd rather sell your soul for a penny. You sell your soul just so you don't have to deal with your own demons. You sell your souls because you don't have enough spiritual strength. Look at the people. Look at judges mayors congress senators police officers CEOs production music industry all these people with money can 
is dying, is coming out of the darkness, molesting, porn, you name it, they full of sin. Because Satan is dwelling in them. Satan gave them a blessing so he can have their souls. And nobody is getting it. Everybody still is blinded. Nobody want to come out of their shell. Nobody don't want to turn away from that wicked one. First John chapter 1 and 2. Read them two chapters. I don't get verses too tough. Read them two chapters and it'll tell you about turn away from that wicked one. Turn away from your sin. We all sinned. Yes, we did. Nobody's perfect. But the Father give you the Holy Ghost to change you into perfection. He fixed the broken. He fixed the weak. But you got to be willing and able. As in Hebrews 12, 14, we all got to see God. But the ones that he's casting, casting down into hellfire, that's going to be wailing and gnashing of teeth, you only going to see God for a little bit. But after that, no more. That's what that verse really means. It don't mean that God going to keep visiting you, giving you visits like you do on earth. If you get in trouble, you got people come visiting you. You got people there for you. You got somebody to pick you up when you fall because you don't want to do it. You don't want to become strong spiritually. Everybody's strong worldly, but when it comes to that spirit, y'all is far from strong. And that's what truly matters to the Father. Your flesh do not matter to the Father. That spirit matters to the Father. So y'all praising the wrong thing. You're worshiping the wrong thing. You're putting your all into the wrong thing. As Jesus told the Pharisees and the scribes in Matthew 23. Read that whole chapter. It ain't much. I, I have it right here. Matthew 23. The whole chapter. Read the whole chapter. It ain't much. It ain't much to go on. And hold one whole chapter. Read it. Everything being done so extremely wrong. But when the father cracked that sky, oh my Lord. And I got to say, oh my Lord. Because every time I read it, I can just feel it in my spirit. The Holy Spirit just grieves. Because y'all don't believe nothing until it's too late. And that's how the world been set up in the past and now present and more to come we don't know how long the world gonna last we don't know jesus don't know the angels don't know when the father get off his throne and say enough like he said in his parable with the uh the people the 12 people i think it was 12 or the 10 people that had lamps and five didn't have oil in their lamps or six or something like that didn't have oil in the lamps and the other half had oil in their lamps and when the bridegroom came the ones that had oil made it in and the ones didn't they wanted their oil they told them no go buy you something by the time they went and brought something and came back the door was closed meaning when the father cracked that sky and you ain't ready and you and your sin still and the only thing you would think about the things of this world is over for you. The Bible tells you so. And I'm not up here judging. I'm not up here condemning. But if you're still on this world walking and talking, it's time to get up out of the fleshly things and the worldly things and so into your spirit. Because if, believe me or believe it or not, your spirit is weak. When you loving the things of the world, because when I had to go through that wilderness, man, I did not know I was just that weak in spirit. I was weak. I was torn. I was traumatized. And that wilderness process was painful. I did not know I was just that weak in spirit. By being blinded by Satan, I thought that I was strong. I was strong, but going through the wilderness and the re I call it the spiritual rehab oh my goodness to detox it was painful and that's why a lot of people don't want to turn from their reprobated minds because they don't want to give up the things that they have Job went through it Job went through all of it 
Job even had friends that Satan was into trying to tell Job he was this, he was that, he was doing something secretive. It wasn't. God wanted to show Satan that Job loved him no matter what. Sometimes the Father will show you. Enoch, Enoch was so righteous. Enoch didn't even have to go through the death. God just lifted Enoch right on up. And I'm not saying this as a myth. The Father is real. I had my encounters with the Holy Spirit. So I'm not talking this just to be talking this. Because like I said, if you actually knew who I was, who I was before in my past to who I am now, I am very changed. The Father have changed my whole entire life. And like I said, I will one day explain how I received the Holy Spirit and how it scared me first. It put a lot of fear in me. So I don't play with the Father, period. Never played with him anyways when I was in sin. I didn't play them uh, peekaboo games with the Father. Because, I look, I was in sin. I did sinful things. At that moment, God, uh, God wasn't who I was worshiping. Satan was. Truth got to be told. You got to tell the truth. And I always, me, Siobhan Anderson, going to stand for truth. I will not go for a lie. Even if a little lie even try to occur, Father, forgive me. Even when little spiritual warfares come around, try to make me do things or the flesh is trying to pull me, a pull against my spirit, I repent, I start praying and fasting. I do not allow myself to go through a whole lot of stuff. Before, When I was going through the spiritual warfare, yes, I was messing up because I didn't understand what I was going through. I didn't have anyone to tell me the truth about the awakening because they wasn't really woke. They were asleep as well. So when you're going through the awakening and you're going through a spiritual warfare, believe me, Satan is going to pull on you. He's going to tug on you. He's going to try everything he can to keep you there. If you fail or if you relapse, don't constantly relapse. But if you relapse, repent, cry out to the Father. He know that you's going to relapse in the midst of it that's what's the period of the holy spirit coming in to overpower that sin and make you pure inside so you can change that is a promise you can change so the word is not just a book like everything else out here the word is just not a manual if y'all can believe in any other manuals to cell phones to cars to um buildings blueprints and all that Believe me, the word is truth. God is real. The spirit is real. Your spirit is real. You're talking. You're not just talking and walking and doing things on your own. Only thing is, Satan is just taking over your spirit to lead you into sin because he needs you. The Father don't need you. The Father is free spirit. He gives you that free spirit to do what you want to do. But when the time to pay, the piper, don't be sorry because you will be. But blessings to each and every one of you. I got to go in here to my personal trainer. Have a great day. I love each and every one of you. All souls matter. And this is Tearing Down Satan Kingdom Part 3.